From Kanye and Adidas agreeing to sell the rest of the Yeezy stock, to the Alex Murdoch trial, which is crazier than before. And then, Michigan and Texas have been unknowingly receiving dirt from the Ohio train wreck. We got a lot of news to talk about. What is going on everybody? We're back with another video. If you're new right here, click the subscribe button. Just helps the channel grow. And today we got some pretty crazy stories to cover. The first one being that Michigan and Texas had no clue that all the contaminated dirt was being moved into their states. The states recently just found out and the EPA had Northfolk completely pause what they're doing. They're gonna have to try to figure something out because you can't be sending contaminated dirt somewhere else. I'm assuming they weren't disposing of it correctly, which is why these states are freaking out. So bad on them. You can't just push your problems off onto someone else. All around, they're really not handling this as well as they should, which is sad to see. I mean, especially with something so devastating and horrible, it should be handled the right way. Hopefully the EPA can really get on them. They're looking at $70,000 fines a day, which I know they don't want to deal with. So hopefully they get to it and they start doing what they're supposed to. And our next piece of news, I'm just updating you guys on a story I talked about earlier, where I talked about the ISS, which is like the International Space station and how a Russian ship that was planning on leaving had a coolant link and they were kind of trapped there and then Russia sent a new ship up that ship has reached the ISS so I'm glad everyone made it there safely I know we're at war right now with Russia but I still wanted everyone to get there safely our next story is absolutely crazy I watched some of the Netflix documentary you can't deny facts when they're sitting in front of you this Alex Murdoch trial is crazy with him going up and taking the stand he's a 72nd witness to be in this case I mean absolutely crazy you have that many witnesses I mean a lot of them were probably just minor stuff you know just stuff that people would see Scene, but still that's so many and on top of that this goes way back farther than just the two murders they're accusing him of his son had killed somebody prior he supposedly killed their nanny too i mean it's wild if you want like a super detailed like explanation of what's happening definitely go look at the netflix documentary and it's bad like it's not looking good for him and on top of that all of his phone calls he doesn't even care to contain himself i mean he literally just almost talks freely like he's not even being recorded and he literally owns a law firm it's absolutely crazy definitely look into it and our next story spacex is about to launch their ninth man mission to the ISS. So I'm hoping everything goes well for them and everybody gets there safely. They're nearing 10 missions, which is pretty crazy. I mean, cause you gotta think SpaceX is private. I think it's mainly funded by Elon Musk. I've read that he does like contracts and stuff for NASA. So he probably gets paid through that. But at the same time, I mean, shooting off rockets can't be the most profitable company. To be fair though, on top of the contracts though, he also has the satellites, which I'm guessing probably bring in decent money. Even though you have to shoot those up too. I don't know, maybe not. I don't have like a spreadsheet of SpaceX. It's a private company, but I just wanted to say congrats to them there. I mean, they're nearing 10, they're one mission away pretty wild elon's still talking about going to mars it'd be crazy if we did i think we should definitely hit the moon first just to like prove we can go to like another block in space you know like another it's not really a planet but like you know just somewhere that's not earth that's like a rock if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense and there's a lot of people who still believe we've never even been to the moon so, i mean if we were able to go back and just prove once and for all we were there you know i think it'd help a lot in like changing the public's perspective because it seems like a lot of people are against like space travel right now just because they want us to clean up on earth first which i totally agree with we definitely should clean up on earth first because we're just going to trash another planet if we don't but also at the same time like we got to keep exploring man i mean the earth's getting populated right now we just broke 8 billion people on the earth so i mean it's getting pretty packed you know like here in like 20 30 years i mean it could be pretty high up there you know so it might be worth it while we're cleaning up the earth to also space travel you know that's just my thoughts on it our next story has to do with twitter and they're laying off another 50 people which is the eighth time they've had layoffs so far in this recent just everybody laying everybody off sad to see i hope those people are able to get a new job. A lot of companies are swooping up the software engineers that worked at Twitter. So hopefully if you're affected by it, you can get swooped up. That'd be really nice. And our next story in Amsterdam, they were building this metro line for like a train. I think it's like a subway type deal. And they've unearthed thousands of artifacts, which is really crazy to think about. I didn't see a whole lot on like where the artifacts are from or like how long ago, but they have a crazy amount. It makes you wonder like what was there before Amsterdam? And it's far enough down where they're digging that so much has happened, you know, like so much earth has covered all this stuff. So it'd be cool to see what comes out of that. Maybe it's like a whole new civilization or something they didn't know was there before. I don't know. It'd be cool to see. And our next story, which is another layoff, Ericsson is laying off 8,500 people, which is huge. They produce all like the 5G telecom gear, but they're laying off a ton of people. I really wish the layoffs would stop. It's so sad to talk about them because like so many people are losing their jobs. Just make sure in these next few months you save up money just in case. I mean, better to play it safe than sorry. You just never know what your company is going to do. And our next story, which is really crazy. I mean, a lot of the heat's died down, but some of the stuff he said, man, I mean, you can't take that stuff back. But Kanye and Adidas came to an agreement that they're going to sell off the rest of the Yeezys. I've also read too, there were no talks of like starting it back up or like creating new ones. But at the same time, Kanye has a lot of influence. So it's gonna be interesting to see if they can even sell them. I don't know anyone personally that's going to buy them. I feel like it'd just be wrong just to let him come back how he was, you know? I mean, he said some bad stuff, man. He hurt a lot of people and stirred up a lot of stuff. I just feel like it's way too soon for him to like come right back in the spotlight. And if they sell all these Yeezys, I read they're going to make like 
500 million dollars. We're just gonna give this guy all that money and he just said all this horrible stuff. I don't know, however you think about Kanye, it just, I don't know, it doesn't sit well with me. That's all the news that I got for today though. I wanna thank you guys for watching, like, comment, share, subscribe, run it up. My hair is an absolute mess, might be. I just got off work, so like, I wear a hard hat all day. It literally just flattens my hair. It's probably gonna be like that for the rest of the week till my shift changes and I'm on a different shift. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.